I'm very pleased to be able to be a part of this occasion, and we're really pioneering a new chapter in the history of Lapeer County. Um, last year I met with some really wonderful individuals in our school system to introduce this concept of a youth award and a scholarship for the sole purpose of recognizing exceptional high school students who have already begun to develop a strong sense of social responsibility for the community that they live in. Today, 10 amazing students, nominees, sit among us. These young women and men have already accomplished some pretty incredible things in our community at a pretty young age. And it is my hope that some of these students will someday return and they'll walk to college, they'll start to make their way in their world, but we hope that they do return to the community where their roots are as nominees for recipient, receiving the Adult Citizen Year of the War. So we're hoping that we see these, this generation and future generations of these incredible young people coming back to the community. And I want to thank the Youth Award Committee and all the teachers and the counselors who took the time to meet with me and to nominate these students and really look at the student body and really select some pretty exceptional kids to be here today. I'm really pleased and I'm very appreciative that you are all so willing to work with us and make this happen. I'm, I'm just very pleased and very excited about this award. Um, and I also again want to thank the uh, Lapeer Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors for their support um, accompanying this award with a thousand dollar scholarship for each of these students. We all know how how costly just senior year can be, but we certainly all know, you know, it's costly going to college and pursuing your education in order to pursue, pursue your dreams and carve your path in life. So again, I want to thank everyone involved who helped to bring this about today. And with that, I want to introduce each nominee and just briefly stand for a moment so that all of these people, for those who don't already know you, will be able to put a name with a face, and you can just briefly stand for just a moment. First of all, I want to introduce Lapeer West High School senior, Miss Shaylee Hansen, who in addition, <laughs> who in addition to her high honors in academics and multiple leadership roles at school through Student Council, Key Club, and her community volunteer activities, she also is a tutor for Family Literacy Center. She volunteers at St. Paul Lutheran Church's Soup Kitchen. She volunteers also at a local nursing home. She's participated in the Gay Straight Alliance. She's volunteered for First Presbyterian Church Vacation Bible School. She is a volunteer for an organization called Peace, promoting ethnical and cultural equality founded a group called LEAD, which is a leadership seminar for middle school students. She's also received the Presidential Volunteer Service Award for completing over 250 hours of community service in the 2011-12 school year. This is our first female nominee for the Youth Award, Ms. Shaylee Hansen. Next, Lapeer East High School Junior, Ms. Brenna Donahue. Brenna? <laughs> Who, in addition to her high academic honors and multiple leadership roles at school with Omni Club, NHS, and Student Council, her community activities also include a volunteer tutor to Murphy Elementary School students. She is a volunteer for Project Homeless. A, pro a volunteer for Special Olympics. She's also been a volunteer for numerous food drives throughout the community. She's a member of the Lynx Club, which is a peer-to-peer -peer support group for students with aut autism. A volunteer mentor for kids, um, a volunteer for Mentors for Kids, which is formerly Big Brothers Big Sisters of Lapeer. Uh, Bowling for Kids Future, volunteer, and a Run Walk for Your Heroes, volunteer. Brenna was the only student chosen from her 10th grade class to represent Lapeer East High School for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Summer Conference. Ms. Brenna Donahue. <laughs> and we have Lapeer East High School senior Daniel Nevis. 
who, Daniel? Well, in addition to his high academic honors, including several advanced placement classes, his multiple leadership roles at school, including Omni Club, NHS, and Student Council, he's also a student tutor in, in the school. And his community activities and volunteers include Project Homeless, Shop with a Hero volunteer, Salvation Army volunteer, numerous Red Cross blood drives, Special Olympics volunteer, and Lynx Road Race fundraiser, which again, Lynx is the peer-to-peer -peer -peer support group for autistic students. Daniel was selected to attend the Michigan Association of Student Councils and National Honor Society's Summer Leadership Camp at Albion College. Daniel Nevis. Our next student nominee is Lapeer East High School sophomore, Abigail Canasti. Abigail? <laughs> well, in addition to maintaining a very high GPA um, in academic uh, excellence, was recently invited to join the Omni Club. She's active in Lapeer East Girls Varsity Golf Team, and that golf team also achieved state finals in 2012. Her community activities include participating and fundraiser for cystic fibrosis. She's also been a, follow a volunteer in the Flint River Cleanup Program. She also visits residents at Suncrest Nursing Facility, and she doesn't just visit, but she also gets the residents involved in sing-alongs and spends time sitting with them, visiting, and playing board games, and helping them pass the time of day. So, this is sophomore Abigail Canassi. <laughs> Next we have Lapeer East High School senior Claire Russell. Claire? <laughs> Who, in addition to her scholastic achievements, including NHS, NHA's Honor Guard for 2012 Project Graduation. Her community activities also include tutoring fellow students at Lapeer East and also tutoring in various middle schools, participating and volunteering for Holiday Depot's Adopt a Family at the Holidays. She participates and volunteers for community recycling programs. She's also 4-H Vice President and Secretary. Also a volunteer for the Proud Equestrian Program, which is a horseback riding therapy program for handicapped children. High school senior Claire Russell. <laughs> Next, we have Lapeer East High School senior Natalie Werner. Natalie. Who, in addition to her scholastic achievements, including NHS, Omni Club, Key Club, and Student Council, her community activities also include volunteering in various soup kitchens throughout the community, also a volunteer for Red Cross blood drives, also a volunteer for Special Olympics, the March Dimes Walkathon, she collects items for the local animal shelter, she does participates in caroling and visits at Vet Care Adult Foster Home. And she also is very active in uh, the Penny War fundraising program through the schools. And this, this particular program helped to raise money to provide food baskets for families during the holidays. Natalie was also selected to attend the Michigan Association of Student Councils and National Honor Society's Summer Leadership College at Albion College. Ms. Natalie Werner. Next we have Lapeer East High School senior Matthew Hitchcock, who in addition to his scholastic achievements, including NHS, uh, for four years he has uh, earned and put in or contributed 238 hours of volunteer tutoring and mentoring through the um, elementary schools. He's tutored students at Turrell Elementary, Roland Warner Middle School, Mayfield Elementary School, Schickler Elementary School, tutor for the Family Literacy Center, 
and PACT PACT leader at the Family Literacy Center, which is a workshop for parents and children helping to demonstrate them fun ways to encourage and increase learning at home. Senior Matthew Hitchcock. Look here, East High School senior Haley Peretta. Whose academic, academic achievements include NHS, Omni Club, the Lynx Club, Student Council, and Class Council President. Her community contributions include volunteering for local food drives, a volunteer for Project Homeless, harvesting food for Eastern Michigan Food Bank. She's a volunteer for various youth athletic camps, the Red Cross Blood Drives, and she's also a student tutor. And Haley was selected to attend the Michigan Association of Student Councils and National Honor Society Summer Leadership Camp as well at Albany College. Haley Peretta. <laughs> Next we have Lapeer East High School senior Gina Torrey. Gina? So in addition to her scholastic achievements, which include outstanding academic performance, NHS Omni Club, Ignite Christian Youth Group, and Emanuel Student Ministries, her community activities and contributions include the Young People Citizenship Seminar, sponsored by the Michigan Fire Bureau, St. Cornelius Vacation Bible School Leader, Volunteer Fundraiser for St. Cornelius Vacation Bible School, St. Cornelius Baskets of Hope Food Baskets for Local Families, volunteer for the Dry Township Library Summer Reading Program, and also a volunteer for Dry Township Library Children's Reading Program, who is actually coordinator of this program. And she also participates in the Eastern Michigan Fair. Senior Gina Torrey. And we also have Lapeer East High School senior Nicholas Lucchese, who in addition to <laughs> who in addition to maintaining high academic academic honors as well throughout high school, Nick is a member also of NHS, Student and Class Council, Drama Club, and Pep Club. His community achievements include he is chairman of Adopt a Family Program for Holiday Depot, volunteer peer tutor within the school, also a volunteer for Red Cross Blood Drives, and he's chaired several food drive programs and other community service projects. So I want to again give all of these student nominees a round of applause and thank them. And as with our adult nominees, there are many, many things here. The list would be a mile long, and we would be here until lunch, and we'd be eating again, and possibly dinner. So just knowing that we really worked very hard to pick the most notable things that give back to the community for all of these nominees, the students, the adults as well. There's a great deal of things that they do for the community that we probably aren't even aware of. But I wanted to thank all of them for being here and congratulate every nominee because it is an honor to be nominated, be recognized for what you do, even though you don't ask for the recognition. So at this time, I would like to introduce Lapeer West High School Principal Tim Zeman. Tim, if you would come up. And also Lapeer High School Principal Scott Roper, along with Mary Stray. These gentlemen will present the very first Citizen of the Youth Award and Scholarship. Thank you very much. Uh, I just, uh, I, I only can sit at our second I'm sitting there as wow, all the contributions of these people, and I'm just really happy that I don't have to list my contributions. That's, that's what makes me feel <laughs> wow, it's unbelievable. Uh, at this time, I would like to thank the Lapeer Chamber of Commerce and Nina Payne for her efforts in, in starting this. To be at the ground level of this uh, event, this 
uh, scholarship is, is amazing. I'm very happy to be a part of that. Uh, prior to, I guess, going into my spiel dealing with the, uh, the female award, um, I would like to introduce our, our LaPierre Community Schools Superintendent, Mr. Matt Wandry, is in the audience. He's in. Also, also, I have a couple of LaPierre West uh, faculty here that I'd like to just acknowledge because they are key ingredients. Uh, to our student success. Mr. Joe Armour is in the back, and Ms. Mrs. Jane Farnell is also in the back. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, it is a great pleasure and a great honor that I stand before you today. Today I get to present the first female citizen of the year youth award. A teacher described this young lady with the following. As a person, she is clever, mature, stable, dependable, and very competent under pressure and in stressful situations. She is willing to help anyone at any time. She is a very hard worker, very hard working student, and I believe that she has the right character, motivation, creativity, and intelligence to thrive at whatever she does. This young lady has a 3.7 grade point average and is ranked 28th in her senior class. Recently, she's uh, accepted a $40,000 scholarship to Spring Arbor College where she plans to study business and economy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present the Female Citizen of the Year Youth Award to Ms. Shaley Hansen. Chamber of Commerce. I'd like to thank them as well as Nita Payne for uh, this wonderful idea and as well as the support for our youth and uh, the contributions they make to this great community. Um, I'd also like to recognize the people who have joined me today who are a big part of the committee as well as uh, the individuals who nominated the many people from Lapeer East. I am joined by uh, Mrs. Wolski, if you could raise your hand. Regine Wolski is a teacher from Lapeer East. I'm also joined by Mary Boomer from Lapeer East, Summer Schultz, and also Noelle Cole. I have <laughs> In addition, I have three counselors that are with me from Lapeer East, Cheryl Price, Matt Alley, and Jeff Lorenz. Well, certainly it is an honor and pleasure to present the first ever Male Citizen of the Year Youth Award. The recipient of this award has been described by one of his teachers as a person of strong character and uncompromising values. He has a maturity that is well beyond his years. You will rarely come across a young man who has the passion for civic duty and responsibility that he possesses. Teachers enjoy having him in class and getting to know such a motivated and passionate young adult. When staff speak of this young man, they cannot help but smile. Throughout high school, he has been involved in the Omni Council, National Honor Society, and the Lynx Program. He is truly a model student for his peers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present the Male Citizen of the Year Youth Award to Mr. Daniel Neves. Chamber of Commerce, of course, and um, the city of Lapeer, and everyone who's worked so hard to get me here, um, and whoever, and the people who nominated me, and everyone who worked so hard at Lapeer East, we do a great job over there. Um, I just want to say, talk a little bit about these two salt and pepper shakers over here, my parents. 
Um, you know, I'm Italian, so my mom taught me how to shave. And <laughs> there's no joke there. I just wanted you all to know that. Um, and the other thing she taught me is to do whatever you're doing with love. And so I did everything I've done because I love doing it. So thank you all very much. These are some pretty amazing, amazing kids. Pretty amazing. I'm very impressed. And right now I'd like to have Kevin Daly and Ed Smith come back up here to present their recognitions to these two amazing young adults. Thank you very much once again. The common theme that we heard of all the uh, nominees, and they should all be congratulated. They are all exceptional students in NHS. Um, I have three children that went through the school system, and I instill my uh, I'm a component of education, and I have a grading scale that these students achieve, and they, pr they probably don't even have the uh, same motivation, but they do it. I have a grading scale of A, B, and unacceptable. And to be an NHS is exactly what they have achieved, and to be the future leaders. So once again, on behalf of United States Congresswoman Candace Miller, we have a congressional record for each of the recipients and a certificate of special congressional recognition presented to Shaley Hansen in recognition of outstanding and invaluable service to the community. Candace S. Miller, United States Congress, 113 Congress. Thank you. from uh, the male recipient. <laughs> you might have some retribution to pay when you get back home. <laughs> uh, but I seen on, on the biography that was going across the screen that he has an ambition and there's quite a few of these students here that are going to the Student Leadership Council. Um, he has an ambition of being President of the United States. I actually have a fifth grader that walks around the middle school and tells his entire staff the same thing. So when you turn out, my son Robert will be succeeding. <laughs> it's also a, 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 an acknowledgement to all the administration, the uh, superintendent, both principals, and a number of the staff members, the teachers, and the counselors. You provide the tools for these students to achieve, but they all uh, can succeed on their own. And one of the four things that we do, and anything that we do that we love is uh, we work long hours for little pay and no benefits, and the fourth and most exceptional reason is because you love it. And every one of these students have said the same thing. So a special recognition to, from the U.S. Congresswoman Candace Miller for Dan Neves in recognition of outstanding and invaluable service to the community, the Honorable Candace S. Miller. years. <laughs> I mean, when you think about all the ones that went on, like, this is an amazing award today to, uh, to give to the students of the and I just want to uh, mention the parents. You know, these kids didn't get there. All these kids were mentioned today didn't get there because they don't have come from a good family background. That's so important. It's something that we've lost in our communities today. And I know that the principals and the teachers all appreciate that. The counselors appreciate the support from families at home, which a lot of times they don't get. But you know that these students, all the ones that were nominated, have got a lot of good support at home. So it's my privilege today to present, uh, again, an award from uh, Rick Snyder, uh, Senator Phil Pablo, and myself, Kevin Daly, to one to Shaley. Thank you, Shaley. Thank you, Daniel, for everything you do in the community. And I think Kevin has uh, he, he hit the nail on the head. I can't wait to see what these resumes look later because it took us days to read through them as it was. So, actually, it took weeks. <laughs> but, and I also want to 
um, point out, like I said, that every student nominated here are very exceptional, and I hope that you're all you know, proud of each other and that you all continue to do good work in the schools and work together with each other because you really do make a difference. You truly do, and I can't wait to see what they do um, as adults when they get out in the world. And Daniel, yes, if I keep seeing this kind of, uh, you know, working out of you, uh, I definitely will consider voting for you. <laughs> and many of you may not, Daniel's been in the La Pierre Days Parade for, I think, two years in a row now with his sign, Daniel Nevis for President. So <laughs> he's starting young. And now, really, um, I'm sure what these kids are waiting for or wondering what's going to happen next. But at this point in time, what I would like to do is actually have both Shaylee and Daniel come back up here for just a moment because I would like to present each of them with a $1,000 scholarship check to be used towards early year education and continuing to better this community and the future of this community. So please come on back up here. Shaylee, again, congratulations, and I know that this will be put to good use, and, and it was hard earned you've achieved so much at such a young age. I looked at all their stuff, and I thought, oh my God, I don't think I did all that stuff by the time I was 40. I'm only 41, so. <laughs> and Daniel, it is definitely my pleasure to present you with a $1,000 scholarship check as well. Thank you so very much. Congratulations. I just want to thank uh, our final uh, group today, a group of individuals who share their busy lives with the Chamber of Commerce. They assist us with many community events and day-to-day -day activities. We're helpful in working with me on this particular uh, uh, banquet, as well as pouring over pages and letters for all of the nominees involved today, being recognized today. I want to thank all of them for their support throughout the year, and I can honestly say that they're more than just volunteers, they're more than just chamber ambassadors and member businesses, but I also consider them friends. I want to thank Janet O'Leary from Cornerstone Staffing, Ray Davis from Davis Lancer Bank, he's unable to be here today, Cynthia Schlau from AAA, Mike Newell of Surpro Lapeer, Amber Crawford, Crawford Design and Solutions, Norma Krauss, Kiwanis Club of Lapeer, Mandy Board from Goodwill Industries of Mid-Michigan, Joy Ventline, Stone Soup Food Pantry, Linda Bonner, Pam Wagner, Rochelle Dabrowski from Prudential Insurance Company. I want to give all of them a round of applause. The ambassadors are instrumental in this event every year. And again, I want to congratulate our 2013 Citizen of the Year recipients, Phyllis Lang and Leo Dorr. Lang. And our very first recipients of the first Youth Award Scholarship, Shaylee and Daniel. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to your families, too. And thank, I'd like to thank your families for being behind you and supporting you, and the same to all the parents of every nominee here today. I want to thank again Lapeer County Bank and Trust Company, Desiree Londrigan, my community college and her staff, Mayor Sprague, who's my right-hand guy every year, Susie Worcester and Pete McCready for coming back a year later after serving their term as Citizens of the Year to participate in this award ceremony again this year, and also uh, Kevin Daly and Ed Smith, I want to thank Andrew Cook, who does our PowerPoint, does all of our techno stuff here. Thank goodness he does, because I'd be lost without him. And again, ambassadors and chamber staff, my assistant Wanda Andrus. And I would like for all of the nominees and their parents and recipients to please, you know, stay. I, we would like to get some pictures, and I'd like for, you know, Jeff to be able to get some pictures of all of you. You all deserve to be recognized. Um, and Mayor Sprague and our presenters today, if you can stay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting 
these wonderful people, and I'm sure that this banquet and these awards will continue to grow as our community will because we have some pretty terrific people supporting it and doing good things in our community. So thank you so very much for being here for the 2013 Citizen of the Year and Citizen of the Year Youth Award and Scholarship. Thank you. Thank you.